Love you. Bye. Come on, kiss me more. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Welcome back. Uh, as you can see behind me, the snow is melting. It's looking pretty springish here right now. And in fact, the driveway where we've been showing you all the muddy spots is starting to dry out. I am home alone this weekend. Greg went on a rock climbing trip with his friends. He's uh, taking some time for himself. So I'm really happy that he's getting out there. He loves rock climbing and hasn't really had the time for it in the past few years since we've been working on this and just managing everything that we've got going on. So um, I think he's having a good time, which is good. He's having a break. So I'm probably not really gonna be working on the house because we're kind of stuck on plumbing. So there's not a lot that I can do in there by myself at this point. There's a couple things I wanna work on, but I thought since the snow was melting and all of the uh, mess from last fall has been exposed, I'm going to work on cleaning up the yard. I wanted to also go get our water line that has been buried in the snow. I'm going to make sure it's above and thawing out so that we can get our gravity feed water here, which will make a huge difference because I want to get laundry going and that uses quite a bit of water. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna get into it and start tidying things up and just making this place look a little better. Why is there a spoon in the yard? <laughs> How did that get there? All right, now I'm going to organize the wood pile. It's kind of getting low, it's all messy. We've got the wood that we want to burn is buried under wood that we don't want to burn. So it's time to get that organized. but I'm sure that you will see that the goats are incredibly annoying <laughs> and they're not chewing or climbing on what I'm trying to work with. They're climbing or trying to, trying to climb or chew on me. So, uh, all right, that looks way better. Nice and neat. We still have a ton of birch, which is too hot to be burning right now. So um, it's quite nice in the house though, because it burns all night long in the Blaze King. Get it. <laughs> Get it, Mips. 
Get it. Storm has rolled in. It's uh, pretty gross out, but the rain will make the snow melt faster. So I'm happy about that. <laughs> With all of the melting and mud that is happening here, we know that spring is right around the corner. One of the things we are doing to prepare for spring is working on our garden and planning and learning everything that we can about gardening to make sure that we have a productive amazing garden this year and that brings us to the sponsor of today's video which is Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes on all kinds of different topics from gardening, art, lifestyle, so many different classes to choose from whatever your interest might be. There are new classes added each week, so there's always something new to discover. And one of the classes that we've been enjoying lately is Backyard Abundance, The Power of a Tiny Garden by Sustainable Stace. Uh, it's a series of five classes where he goes over all of the different garden topics, whether it's planning out the location and the orientation of your garden, if irrigation, dealing with pests, harvest, different types of plants you want to plant. So while we're not new gardeners, there's still always something to be learned from listening to these classes and learning from experts. If you wanted to try out Skillshare for yourself, we've got a link down in the description for the first thousand people you will get a free month trial with your Skillshare membership. Go check it out if there's something you've been wanting to learn, see what you might discover. And thanks again to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. Come on guys! Come on Nebs! Booey, come on! All right, first task of the morning. I'm gonna walk the water line and uh, just make sure it's above ground and that there's no breaks in the line. And then I'm going to follow it all the way down to our solar powered spot. From there, I will grab the end of the line and move it to the gravity feed spot further upstream. So yeah, I'm already noticing I'm gonna have to do some chainsaw work back there but uh, it's not a big deal. And yeah, I'm just gonna keep going. I got the goats and the dogs and the cat. I'm really hoping I can get the water going today. It'd be a huge win and Greg will be really happy because it's one less thing he has to deal with. And uh, yeah, let's get going. Found the first bit of snow. Get it, Lucifer. All right, as you can see, it's all snow in here, so I'm gonna have to pull the line out. Certainly don't need a jacket on.
on here. Go! Stop it! All right, I'm gonna skip that snowy spot, spot and bring a shovel back up so I can just dig it out and it'll be way easier. But no, I can't even tell where the water line is. <laughs> it's under so much leaf, leaves and stuff. So I'm trying to remember which way it goes. There's a few different options. Anywhere in here, it's there. I was way off. <laughs> okay, well that's cool. It'll be in less snow then. Let's see if we can backtrack. We got a, a new GoPro. We had one before, but it was awful and I never used it. So we have this, the new GoPro 10. Let us know what you think of the, the footage with it. If you think it's good or not, or yeah, I'm hoping it'll be a lot easier to bring out on projects like this because it's so small and lightweight, not our big bulky camera, so. I think uh, it's gonna get interesting from here because I'm going through the forest and there's lots of little branches and trees and everything down. So probably gonna have to come back with a chainsaw all through here again too, I think, but we'll see how it goes. Crazy cat. Meow, meow, meow. You bush cat. Psst, psst, psst. <sighs> it's cold in here. Oh, this part's gonna be interesting because we've got these trees down and there's quite a bit of snow built up around them. So <sighs> I might have to come back. I mean, it doesn't feel like there's water or ice in any of the lines so far, so. I'm hoping it'll still just run, and if the water is moving, then it shouldn't freeze, but I just hate to do all this and have it get stuck here. So this might be another shovel spot, but so far so good anyways. Come here, you're on the tree. You have fun? You have fun, Mr. Goat Boy? Never canoeing. Try him, see what happens, Neb. Okay, there's the water line. Uh, I'm at the part where it crosses the road now. So, almost there. Okay. There's the. So that's where it goes, under the road. Now, where does it come out? That is the question. I'm sure I'm glad the uh, forest floor, the trees and all of the uh, vegetation warms up the ground. <laughs> it, uh, it's making this a lot easier for me today. Oh, heading back to the sunshine. So I'm at the part where this is where the line is gonna curve. So I'm gonna go down to the to the solar powered part uh, of the stream. And then you can see here the lines cross. So that's our neighbor's uh, water line for his garden from his water source and our upstream gravity feed 
water source is up next to his. So this is the point. I'm gonna go, go down and unhook it, but I've gotta take it from here that way after. So let's keep going. This is really not going bad at all. I have a good feeling about today getting the water going. Okay, maybe I spoke too soon. This feels frozen. That's not a good sign. <laughs> Damn it. Boy. So beautiful down here. Honestly, we could probably start the solar pump up. Although I don't know what state it's gonna be in. We did not bring the pump in for the winter, so it's probably toast, which is unfortunate, but uh, things get forgotten when you're juggling a lot. So that's what happened. And uh, actually what happened is we thought that because it was in this little creek that it would be fine. It wouldn't freeze, but it, did freeze so it's uh not looking good all right the water tank is right there uh, that's pretty gross there are bugs in there but this is the end that i need i'm not able to get it loose i'm gonna have to go get the drill but at least we know everything's all good up to this point the uh, mud just sucked my boot off and I got my foot into the mud, <laughs> so <laughs> that was fun. But uh, yeah, we're gonna head back, grab chainsaw, drill, and then continue on pulling this up. I'm back out here at the snowy spot. I'm gonna, I've got a shovel and the chainsaw. I'm gonna cut this stuff out. Um, whew, it is warming up. I'm probably not gonna need to wear a sweater once I'm digging. So I'm just gonna get into it. All right, that spot's free. I think I'm gonna go hook it up and uh, see if it will run all the way back home. I know there's some, some more digging over there, but I'm gonna try it before doing that again. So see how it goes. Okay, I'm down at the end of the water line. So now I'm gonna unhook it from the solar pump and uh, carry it back upstream to the gravity feed part of the creek. Oh man, it's exhausting walking through all these sticks and climbing and up and over and whew. It's nice to be active again. I feel like in the house build, house build lately, it hasn't been very active. <laughs> Not very physical, so this is pretty nice. And like, it's a beautiful day, beautiful. 
<sighs> Trying not to think about cougars while I'm out here right now. <laughs> Seriously? How? <laughs> oh. So close. Sometimes I wish I had Greg's strong hands. You can just freaking... This, this is nothing for him. Ah, there we go. Come on. Come on! Success. Okay. All right, I got the end up. There was water draining out of it, so I hope that means that it's melted and once the water from the gravity is pushing in, it'll clear the line. But there's only one way to find out. I'm gonna go drag this, drag this through the woods now and find the best path. And uh, yeah, and then we'll see how it goes. Okay. That's the end of the line, and it needs to keep going. So, I'm trying to remember how we had it before. I'm not sure if we followed our neighbor's line or if we had it off to the side. So I'm gonna walk around and see what I can figure out. But, I hope that I have enough line to reach this. It's mud boggy. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go see where the line is because at this point I don't think there's enough, which is a bummer. <sighs> Man, it's so much easier with, other, with another person because the line's getting caught up in all the trees and stuff, so it's nice to have someone further back just untangling it and making sure it's okay. So, a lot of running back and forth. Okay, I think what I'm gonna do now is I'm back uh, closer to the solar stream and I'm gonna disconnect one of the connectors here and take it around that way and try to connect it back there in a more direct route because it crosses the road just over there. So yeah, I've got this kind of like whole little loopy section that I can get rid of by doing this. So that's the plan. I 
freaking hope it works because <laughs> I'm starting to get disappointed and if I don't have the water today then I'm gonna be feeling very defeated <laughs> so wish me luck <laughs> hell of a time. I can't get any of the connecting pieces to come apart so that I can move it. I could drag the whole thing back and start again, but that is such a pain. Uh, trying not to get too frustrated, but uh, it's just so annoying. Certain things I don't have the strength for. And a neighbor's not even home, so I can't even ask him for help. <sighs> I'm gonna go see if I can find pliers or something, I guess. All right, I can't get it. Can't get it loose, the tools aren't helping. It's spinning, but it won't come off the connector. So I'm just gonna pull it all the way back and then I'll pull it back that way. And I hope that that will Give us enough, enough slack to meet up with the one where the water's coming out. <sighs> Did not want to do this. It's going to take a lot of energy, but it is what it is. So I'm just going to go for it instead of trying to screw around. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. <sighs> I'm at the end of the line and that yellow bag is where the water is. I don't think this is gonna make it. It's so close though. Ah, so close. That's not fair. How on earth did we have this set up before? That doesn't make any sense. What a disappointment. I think that's as tight as it'll go. Damn it. I forgot to mention, I gotta fix these ruts. I think it's dry enough now, so we should be good to go.
All right. Slightly better there. It's still a bit wet over there, so that's not really doing anything. And the hill, I'm gonna leave for Greg. I have no idea what I'm doing. So that one's a little too complicated. I'll let him look after that. <laughs> I don't know how useful that was. I don't really know what I'm doing with the tractor and backblading, so. I was able to fix a little bit of our like main driveway, but I also went up to the top of our driveway and was gonna try and fix some potholes, but I was probably just gonna mess up the road more than I was gonna fix it. So until we get a back blade, I don't think I will be doing that. <laughs> or until I get a lesson on how to do that. <laughs> so I'm gonna wrap up the video here. I'm gonna go make dinner and then wait for Greg to come home. Uh, thanks for hanging out with me while I I think I did a bunch of random stuff didn't really get a whole lot done, but I'm still feeling pretty exhausted. So it was productive. I guess <laughs> We'll see you next week. Have a great week everyone and thanks for watching It's got a lot of a lot of air to push through Yeah. This is water <laughs> Somewhere where is it? There it is. Oop, oop. Ready? It's coming. <laughs> when? This thing was just spraying. It's pretty mucky. Oh yeah, it's gonna be mucky for a while. It's half, it's, it's over a kilometer of pipe. Tell Greg not to come home unless he brought the supplies. And he did. So he's home now. <laughs> We gotta get this off the road. Ugh, that's so brown. Mmm, have a sip. Mmm, <laughs> tasty. Why is it brown? Because it's been sitting in a pipe. Ooh. We'll let that we'll let that flow for a half an hour before we put that in the yeah. tank. Such a butthead. I'm trying to make you a fun spot, man. Come on,